Hello. So I finally did um, take a roll of pictures with the IHG, IHG, and I developed them myself, black and white ones, and let's look at the camera again. Just a quick one. So this one. I only have one lens for this, and this is the 50 millimeter 2.8 uh, Tessar, the uh, Carl Zeiss, Carl Zeiss Jenna lens. Since I had never taken pictures with this one, I um, I did a pretty good job. Um, the best ones that were taken outside at uh, aperture of 22, um, and as you can look through it, um, you can see what it in focus and out of focus, so it's really a lovely um, SLR camera. Um, and the problem I had with this, once I was done taking it, is how do you get the film out? How do you rewind it? I know how to get it out, but um, I was I didn't know what to do. And the videos I saw online did not help because they didn't show this model. So what you have to do, once you've finished, you know, doing your, your shoot, you're ready to, to get your film out. This is pretty much like a, almost like a left-handed uh, camera. Um, and by that, I mean, you load the film on the right-hand side and then it winds from um, right to left. And this is the, uh, the IHG, um, Exact. Uh, this the name is so long. Ahiji Verix um, VX2A, which is on the front. And there's the, the number. So you put it in. You pull the film over here. You do it. But then, how do you get it back to rewinding? Put that back in. Um, so I was like, I'm turning it, nothing's happening. I was pushing the release button, nothing's happening. I was missing an extra step and I just happened to discover it. You push that button in, hold the release, and then you can twist it. And then when you're done, you can pop it back out and that will discharge the, the film. The little cutter here, I still haven't figured out why the hell you'd cut your film. Maybe if you were um, it was the little Gia team, which is kind of crazy. And then I was able to get the film out and I used um, Kodak Professional Tri-X 400, black and white. Um, and I did this myself. I popped it out and popped it out of the canister, threw it in the tank, did my quick uh, washing and everything. And in about 20 minutes, I had photos. I usually leave them to dry in the spindle because they seem to, if I hang them up, they tend to curl really, really badly. And I, it's, it's almost impossible to scan them in. And that's what I always do. Um, so I scan them in with an Epson scanner backlit at uh, 1200 DPI. And I'll sh show you the results, some of the best ones. Not all of them turned out. Um, I took some pictures during, um, when it was snow outside and it was overcast and I thought I had the aperture uh, too wide, so they turned out really dark. No, I had the aperture too small, so they turned out really dark. Um, so uh, those did not turn out well, but the other ones I took outside and around where I work, um, they actually turned out quite well. I posted them on Facebook and on Instagram, some of the best ones, um, and I'll show you what they look like. 